there are a couple instances that come to mind, and every time I see and, I, and I, I look at the progress that we've made, I remember those two instances. One of the very first was the fact that I went to one of the big companies that I will not name at this point, and I passed all the little exams for a clerical job. I had overseas, uh, Cambridge Overseas School Certificate. I had all kinds of, um, of graduation uh, certificates, etc. And the, the little test that was given was something that I passed. And when I went back after two weeks not hearing, to, I went back to inquire of the human resource whether I was going to get the job. They said to me, yes, you did pass all of the tests, but we thought that you were not a good fit for our organization. And I still, to this day, think about this issue of good fit. Um, the second instance that I remember, and I remember so vividly, was seeing a sign on a, on a door in a, a dwelling house that had several rooms in it, um, and um, room for rent, and walking up to the door and the owner looking me right in the eye and says, yes, it's for rent, but not to you. And when I looked at him, he says, not to you. We don't rent to people, to black people. And I remember this to this day again. I had no recourse. Human rights, we, we're talking now about 1960 uh, and uh, 1960, 1961. There was nowhere that I can go with this except to take that, that sense of, um, of what was done to the spirit and have it um, you know, churn and churn and churn, not only within the self, but also within the gut. And, uh, and what those two opportunities or those two occasions uh, did to my determination to make this place that I had chosen to be home, to make this place a better place. And so when the code came along, when we started discussing that Ontario was going to have these, uh, this legislation that would speak to racism, discrimination, uh, the ability of individual to be a productive member, to participate, etc., we had dreams about what the code would do. And at the same time, at the passing of the code, to me, it was an opportunity to say that now there is some recourse. Now, a landlord cannot say this openly, that a human resource person cannot say this openly, because what happened up to that point, one was always questioning as to whether it was my fault, whether it was um, W w that that individual was allowed to say, I won't give you this job because of who you are, because it was quite clear when she said I was not the right fit, um, that she was really saying that, um, that my race, my color, my gender, I'm not too sure, but was not in keeping with, this, with that organization's um, uh, plan.